Yo, what's good everybody? Snacks here. I'm back here again today with another video. And as you see on the screen right here, I got Zion Williamson build in NBA 2K20. So let's get it right here. First thing you're supposed to do is put him at the power forward position, right-handed, number one. So pie chart, full finishing, just straight finishing. Obviously, Zion is... A very good finisher, contact finisher around the rim. So next thing, 95 strength, 79 vert. The, I believe it is, yeah, the second pie chart down for that. And then once you get to the set of the potentials, we're going to put up everything on finishing. So we get the max amount of finishing badges right here. I believe we do end up getting 30 as it is. Because I do have a similar build to this in my career that you guys might have seen on my stream the other day. The build that I've been showing off in the Zion videos the past few days. Um, it's going to be similar to this. Um, don't put up pass accuracy yet. We're going to go to the defense next. Put up everything in interior finishing. All block and then both rebounding. Offensive rebounding all the way up. And then also defensive rebounding all the way up as well. Next thing, put up the steal a little so you get the few extra play or the few extra defensive badges. And then make sure you get 11 badges right here. And then... Now you're going to want to finish it off with post moves so you get some playmaking badges and then finish off passing accuracy so you get a few more. And you see right here, 30 finishing, 1 shooting, 8 playmaking, 11 defense rebounding. On my other build, I do get like 19 playmaking, but you would rather the more defensive attributes. Um, I'm accidentally taking something off. I forget where it was, but um, you do want... Wait, why did it drop a playmaking badge? Did it just go somewhere else that it's not supposed to? Hold on. That's weird. It just like a badge just randomly disappeared. There we go. Okay, so on my other build, I do get more playmaking badges, but I don't have a need for every all those playmaking badges. So you would rather put it on like lateral quickness and steal because I don't have that on my other build. You want more defensive attributes then more playmaking badges on a big man like um and then for the body type i would put built i would say because zion is a pretty big dude i'll put it down to six foot seven you see his vertical goes up to a 90 his speed is a 72 driving dunk uh goes up by plus four to a 95 driving layup 93 and obviously at 99 those things go up to the driving dunk will be a 99 standing dunk 81 that's pretty solid for you're not going to be like probably post rising people while standing right under the basket sometimes you will sometimes you won't just depends on the animations you get but six foot seven put them up all the way to 255 that's the most you can do on a power forward build um he is like 285 i believe actually but 85.7 wingspan and then you see you could do either post scoring or slashing takeover obviously choose the slashing takeover see right here interior finisher we're going to test out the build show you guys some badges real quick before this video ends but just waiting a second so we can get to the screen i'm going to put them up to a 99 overall and then you see right here 30 finishing badges so i would put on back down punisher hall of fame contact finisher hall of fame fancy footworks for sure sometimes i i have fast break finisher so i can get my takeover quicker uh, because I, I don't cherry pick with this build. I just run the break with this build. So definitely put on fast break finisher, I would say. Um, relentless finisher. I would put that just on silver. Lob City finisher, Hall of Fame. So you do have more room for um, Hall of Fame badges. Slithery finisher on Hall of Fame. And then also you do have one more for a, a Hall of Fame badge. You could put on putback boss. But we are going to put on like deep hooks on Hall of Fame. So you can do some little post hooks. Because you as you saw in the attribute screen we do have a very solid post hook so you could post up if you want to with this build hot zone hunter we're just going to throw that on so yeah because it actually does activate in the paint hot zone hunter now for this put on downhill and then not those badges my r2 is down uh and then quick first step that's the only badges you need like that's it downhill and quick first step great badges for a guy who's running the break but you still get two more, so throw it on unpluckable on silver so you don't get stripped and stuff like that. And then for the defense, box on bronze is all you need. Rim protector is all you need. And then I also would put on pogo stick, gold, 
rebound chaser gold and then you have enough for one more gold badge is obviously intimidator you got to put it on so this is the best possible Zion Williamson build in 2k20 to finish out the year if you're still making builds and you want to make a guy like Zion make this build let me know if you guys do let me know if you guys like it and stuff like that your opinions down in the comments drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace